Well, hi there. It's Sandy Alnock, and I have a beautiful page about a difficult learning I have had of late. And it's from the Beatitudes. And I've chosen to do this in Luke chapter 6. Blessed are you who are poor, for yours is the kingdom of God. Blessed are you who hunger now, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who weep now, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, when they exclude you and insult you and reject your name as evil because of the Son of Man. And I chose to make some beautiful leaves for this because God has been teaching me to to revel in the good stuff, not in the bad stuff. And I'll talk a little bit more about that later. But I've made a stem and I'm drawing in some leaf shapes and then I'm going to scribble in them. These are watercolor pencils, which are very forgiving because you're going to add water to them, so you don't have to be perfect in your coloring. It's one of the things that makes watercolor pencils easier to use for a lot of people because even if you're not used to applying color with a brush, it's a lot easier to do it with a pencil and then add the water. And for each one of my leaves, I chose two different colors, and I'm going to put the color at the base of, of one side of it a little bit heavier so that I get some nice blending when I add water to it. And I'm using a silver black velvet brush. It's the brand name and the, the line of brushes. And you can either paint it in like that, which is a lot harder, or just lay the brush down. And when you lay the brush down, it makes a leaf shape. And depending on what brush you have, it may make a better or worse leaf shape so you can practice with your different brushes to see what happens. We talked about leaves a little bit last week as well, so apparently I'm still on a leaf kick. So there you go. But I'm going to go up and down the entire column and do this, and then you'll see at one point when I get all of the leaves in there, I do switch to putting color in between and then painting that portion in, and then I'll come back with explanation of the next step when we get there. But I thought in the meantime, <laughs> I would do a little confession. Confession is good for the soul, right? And for me, I have been whining in, in my interior quite a bit. I don't know if anybody else has that problem. A lot of us are, are grumpy about a lot of things. There's a lot going on in the middle of a pandemic. There's a lot in the church. There's a lot in society. There's a lot between friends. There's a lot of just everybody angry. It's an election season. Don't forget to vote. But in the midst of all of that, it's really easy for us to get into, I'm going to say me, I'm going to keep this to me. It's really easy for me to get whiny and gripey about things. And whiny and gripey is not a good place to be. And what God reminded me when I read this particular portion of scripture was, you know, he doesn't say, blessed are you when things don't go your way and you feel persecuted and, and you think other people are after you or whatever it is that you think. He doesn't say, blessed are you because of these things, now go whine. He just says, blessed are you, for yours is the kingdom of heaven. Like, he turns it to the blessing. Yours is the kingdom of heaven. What are you whining about? That's what I heard when I read that. And it has helped me to, I guess, pull myself back from the edge of whining quite so much. It doesn't work all the time because it's in my nature to be grumpy and to feel put upon by things and people. And whether it's people in the church, people outside the church, I'm just very good at being offended. And I need to remember the blessings. So that is what this page is about for me. After I finished coloring in the leaves and then putting color in between each one of the leaf sections, I decided I wanted to clean it up a little bit. And I added some white pen to the outside of the leaves, just outlining them. And then also added a few dots down the center of each one of them. You could also do it with a dark pen if you prefer that, depending on what kind of colors you used in the artwork, you might try that. And you could even test it out if you're trying to figure out which would be better. Test it out in your Bible Journaling Made Simple workbook. And then you can see whether or not a black outline or a, maybe a dark green or a purple outline or something would look better on yours with your color selection than a white pen. 
but I love my Uniball Signo white pen. If you watch my crafting videos, I use it on everything, especially at this time of year, because I make a lot of Christmas cards with snow on them. And my white pen is my friend. I do buy a whole bunch of them for this season. So using it here in my Bible is another place to do that. So the lettering that I did was in watercolor pencil as well. And I added some white pen dots to the word blessed. And blessed when it is hard is what I really want to remember. And hopefully that serves as a, a good remembrance for you as well today. I hope that you have gained something from my little crazy video here today. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you again next week with another Bible journaling video. Have a wonderful week ahead and be blessed. Take care. Bye.